Now to our other top story at four. It's one that we've been covering for more than a year now, and it really hasn't improved much. Orange County leaders are weighing their options on how to deal with sky high rent prices. According to Zillow, the average U.S. rent for the month of April was $1,900. That is 16% more than last year. And Florida is one of the most competitive markets. Watch 2's Michelle Meredith joins us now. Michelle, what are some of the options being considered? Well, the main topic was to try to find a way to stop some landlords from raising their rent so high so fast but it ended up being a very complicated affair. Uh, but it is an issue that uh, I'm certain is concerning of all members of this board. The Orange County Commission wants to know if it's possible to impose rent control on landlords, putting a cap on rent increases to no more than 5% in one year. First, the commission heard from dozens of people who are struggling to pay their rent. And I am angry and I am disgusted at the faces here who are trying to save their own pockets at the cost of the residents who need the help. Next, the commission heard the results of a study, a study done by a company the commission hired to see how and if it's possible. One in the housing. The presentation basically laid out the constraints of a state law that says, one, in order for a government to exercise rent control, the situation would have to be considered an emergency, and two, whatever measures the county takes would have to eliminate the emergency. Wow. I, I didn't realize how biased and soulless the person was who put this together. Reaction to the study was sometimes explosive, with Commissioner Emily Bonilla giving the study an F, saying it favors the apartment industry. If the industry really wants to help like they said they do, the first thing they could do is stop raising rents. That would really help out. Others questioned the details, complaining there were not enough. I looked for footnotes, I looked for citations, I looked for potential input from our, our own departments, our Department of Children and Families, our, our nonprofit partners that we give grants to, and I didn't find any of, of that in, in here. So I don't want to pile on. Now the landlords told their side of the story, and one talked about how there's a gigantic pot of government money designed to help tenants pay their rent, but there's so much red tape they can't get their hands on it. Again, too much to sort out, and one day they're going to have a special session to talk about it later this month. Live in Orange County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.